Hi and welcome. My name is Erika Mosor. I'm a researcher with a background in health sciences and occupational therapy, working at the section for outcomes research at the Medical University of Vienna in Austria. Currently, I'm also leading the scientific subcommittee of EULAR Health Professional and Representation Committee. Within the next few minutes, I'd like to talk about how to write and submit an abstract to the EULAR Congress and successfully claim a Congress bursary. Do you want to share your work and network with other researchers? Then try to get invited and present your work at the EULA Congress. We would be very much interested in your work. Your first step is to write and submit an abstract. Your conference abstract is often the only piece of work that Congress organizers will see. So it needs to be very strong and standalone. And once your work is accepted or published, other health professionals, patients, researchers, and physicians will only consider attending your presentation or reading the rest of your work if your abstract has convinced them. So that's why developing an, an abstract is uh, of great importance. On the EULA Congress homepage, you will find all the information you need uh, for an abstract submission. There are several tracks available and uh, you can see them on this slide. Health professionals can choose to submit their abstracts either for practice and clinical care or clinical research work. It's B, C and D, also highlighted in orange on the slide. The tracks are subdivided into 55 abstract topics. And it's important you choose the correct category and topic to ensure that your abstract is scored in a correct way. The content of the abstract must be topic related. This is of great importance. In the box on the right side of the slide, you can see the topics within the HPR category. As mentioned before, the purpose of an abstract is to summarize the major aspects of your research work. And when writing an abstract, it's important that you always follow the submission guidelines and you can find them by using the link that is shown in the slide. It's also mandatory to use the abstract word template provided by the system. According to the guidelines, you should structure your abstract into the following sections. First of all, you have the title. It needs to grab people's attention. State your topic clearly and develop interest in the reader. The background is about mentioning what's already known and the gap of knowledge or the specific problem that you are addressing in your work. Of course, it's necessary to state the purpose of your work, the objectives, and to describe the methods that you used to collect and analyze the data. In the results, you should report the findings or trends of your analysis and were they and, and state whether they were as you expected or not. And to conclude, you should mention what your research results mean. How will they contribute to the field? Um, you could also write about the value added or originality of your work within this field. For a Mueller abstract, you are also allowed to add some main references and you could use one table and one graph or one image in addition to the text. In addition to those main parts of an abstract, you also need to prepare the following for the submission. You need to know the author first names, middle initials and last names, and of course, the affiliations of all authors, acknowledgement, working group, if there is any, abstract number, and of course, declaration of conflict of interest. Let me now give you some practical tips for writing an abstract. 
An abstract should be concise but informative, so avoid using words or phrases that do not add any specific value to your research. Keep the sentences very short and crisp to convey just as much information as needed. And the most important thing, fascinate people with your abstract. Only submit abstracts that contain original data. This is very important and always include results in your abstract. Don't use the future tense, telling people what you want to do, but rather what you did. Do not split data from the same study across several abstracts and or different topics, as it will lead to rejection of all the abstracts. And it's also necessary to know the deadline for abstract submission, and I would advise you to submit as early as possible. You can re-edit and modify until the submission deadline anyway. Ensure that your abstract does not contain any spelling, grammatical or scientific errors, as it will be reproduced exactly as submitted and you have no chance to add or um, correct anything. Look for examples of abstracts submitted in previous years and you could find those abstracts in the EULA's abstract archives. And last but not least, take your time. A good abstract is not written in just a few minutes. Even experienced researchers prefer to go over it several times. For the EULA Congress, all abstracts are reviewed blinded. The reviewers judge the abstract according to the scientific or clinical value, the relevance to EULA, suitability of methods to aims, conclusions confirmed by objective results, the objectivity of the statements that you provided, description of method used, ethics, the originality of your work, the standard of English and overall impression. An abstract acceptance is one of three categories. Either it's an oral presentation or a poster presentation or publication only. If you have your abstract accepted for oral or poster presentation, gratulations. You should now apply for a bursary. Every year, EULAR awards several bursaries to the first or presenting author of health professional abstracts. On the right side of the slide, you can fin find all the application terms and conditions. Fortunately, there is no age limit and no publication list required for HPRs. <clears throat> 